So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan? March 1st, 2005? References 05R61889. a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I, I can hear you. It it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Tw 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Here. Huh. Been there. Done that. Okay. I need to check out 05R62766. That's not it. Well... Zero 05 R62 766 Thank <laughs> you. 
Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? You finding anything? Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. No, that's not it. Nope. Well? You know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught, so... <sighs> Not this one either. Autopsy report. Okay. She. Uh, yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non fatal. What? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Sherlock! Tell him you need to talk in his office. Reference is 05 bar 63 325. Okay, here it is. That's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Five zero one C O M E B R. Here we go. Jesus, unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne to child services. What? Where are you? What's going on? This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Ah, uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, 
how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Pro. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. References 2014 203 411. Okay, here it is. Huh. Nothing helpful. There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Hmm. References 05R68 MISC. Here we go. Why is that here? There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Bingo. Got something. Okay, I need to check out. 2005201546 There Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! Hey! hey. Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family.
You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was <clears throat> hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm... I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... I don't know. Right there, she... Must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. 
I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later.